and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the like, and the bell for notifications. Hey guys, I went over this in my head 150 times whether or not to do a video on Summer Moon, Utah Wells, missing from Rogersville. A lot of people are touching on this story, but everyone that follows me knows that I hold these children that are missing dear to my heart. So before I made this video, I went last night and I started looking at her. And the first thing that came to my mind is why on God's earth is this child's head so short? Now, maybe she cut her own hair. Maybe they finished cutting it off. Maybe she had lice. They shaved her head. I don't know, but that does not sit well with me. And her appearance seems to be like she is a little bit malnourished. She just has a little bit of sadness in her eyes. And I noticed something with her little teeth. Now, the one tooth that seems darker in the front, I mean, that could have been from her banging it, hitting it, the nerve died, and her big tooth obviously has not come in yet. But we're not going to speculate, but I am going to touch on a couple articles. But the one thing that found very disturbing was the three Donald Wells. There's a senior, there's a junior, and there's a second. And... I am not sure which one is her father. I have started a family tree on Candace to try to figure out exactly if it's the second or the third Don Wells. But with that guys, let's get into it. Let me touch on a few of these tweets out from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. And as I am getting into this story, I just keep thinking about little Evelyn May Boswell. So this was out on June 16th, Endanger Child Alert, which we all know we need your help to find four-year-old Summer Moon Utah Wells missing from Rogersville. If you have any information, call the TBI on the 16th again, the phone number to call for information regarding the whereabouts of Summer Wells is 1-800-TBI-FIND. Any additional updates will be posted on this thread as well as TB Newsroom. Tennessee Bureau of Invest... Let me go ahead and retweet this real quick. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the 17th of June. A media briefing will be held in this afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern to discuss the latest in the ongoing search for Summer Wells. The location will be at Solomon's Temple Missionary Baptist Church. 7659 Lone Star Road is where it's located. Another one out on June 17th. Let me just retweet this. Numerous local, state, and federal agencies are assisting in the search for Summer Wells. Teams were briefed earlier this morning and ground search in the area around Ben Hill Road resumed. So let's remember Ben Hill Road because that is where they live. Then we've got out 19 hours ago, these photos give you an idea of the difficult terrain teams are dealing with during the search for five-year-old Summer Wells, and I am going to blow them up on top. And then 14 hours ago, as of this evening, teams have searched more than 680 acres. Summer Wells is still missing. We continue to urge residents who live near Ben Road to check their trail or surveillance cameras for video or photos of Summer. And then there's a few comments, but of course, I I'm not going to get into them. So let's hop into the latest article about what her father has said as of pretty sure it was yesterday. So I am not going to get fan today with the video because I have a lot to talk about on Summer Wells and her family in some very, very disturbing criminal history I found on one of the Don Wells. But let's just go into this article quick. Missing Tennessee, five-year-old Summer Wells. Dad thinks someone snuck up on her and grabbed her. 
Hawkins, Tennessee, the father of missing five-year-old Summer Wells, said he believes his daughter may have been kidnapped. Don Wells said he was not ready to go on camera, but did issue a statement on Nextstar's WJHL on Thursday. Summer disappeared Tuesday evening, and Don said she would never do that in regards to wandering off. Well, either she wandered off, someone took her, or you know where she is in my opinion. She would never leave our hill. I think that someone snuck up on her and grabbed her. I don't think she's in the area because the dogs go down to the road and that's the end of the trail, but I don't know that for a fact. The way that she just disappeared, she would never do that, Don Wells said. Summer Wells was reported missing Tuesday evening by her parents in Beach Creek area of Hawkins County, Tennessee. An endangered child alert issued Tuesday night was escalated to a state statewide Amber Alert Wednesday morning. We know that there's people praying all around the world, praying for her safe return. So many people love her, Don Wells said. The TBI has asked that residents continue to share photos of summer and credible information. As we've stated before, the circumstances surrounding summer's disappearance remain unclear, said TBI's public information officer, Leslie Earhart. In a media briefing Thursday afternoon, if we do develop information that she was taken and we develop a suspect and a vehicle description we will share that immediately at this time that's just not the case more than a hundred emergency responders have searched around her home with ground and aerial search crews covering a several mile radius by thursday evening but have yet to locate her communications issues and rough terrain has complicated the ground search effort these are the pictures that i have showed you before that i am going to to open up and show you bigger pictures on top as I'm reading through the articles. So the TBI again, as of this evening, teams have searched more than 600 acres. Summer Wells is still missing. We continue to urge residents, actually I'm repeating myself, so I'm not going to finish reading that, but that is what the father said. Let's go have a look at the house that they live in. And then I am going to show you a couple of things that I found on Don Wells. But I'm telling you, I just, the fact that this little girl's hair is so short I don't understand why I have girls unfortunately well not unfortunately but they are grown adults and when they were five years old they had the little bob and the little bangs I even went through the lice all of us probably have and never did I think that I was going to shave my child's head because she had lice I sat there for hours of picking out the bug like most probably normal mothers do but let's not speculate because there are a lot of effed up people in this world and sick people in this world world but when you hear what I found on the third Don Wells Don Wells third you are not going to believe it unless you have already heard it first let's go for a road trip to her house let me touch on this article really quick because I have not actually put out some important information and we never know somebody might watch my video who does not have any idea what is going on in this case so I am not going to repeat the things that I have already said in this video but we know that Summer Moon Utah Wells became a statewide Amber Alert Wednesday, June 16th. She was reported missing to the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office at approximately 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 15th. This baby has been gone almost 72 hours. Hawkins County investigators immediately began working the case shortly after that. An endangered child alert was issued. New information and a growing concern about the well-being of Summer prompted the TBI to issue a statewide Amber Alert less than 12 hours later. Summer has blonde hair, blue eyes, stands three feet tall, and weighs approximately 40 pounds. She was reportedly last seen wearing gray pants, a pink shirt, and possibly barefoot. At this time, the circumstances of Summer's disappearance remains unclear. Should we develop information that she was abducted and have a suspect in vehicle, we will share it with the public immediately. And the rest is just repeating itself and showing her cute little pictures. Look at how cute she is. But, you know, she's got, she's little, but these pictures, she looks like a normal, little, healthy five-year-old. Maybe right here, she looks like she's starting to get a little thin. Um, I do not know because I'm not her mother and I was not around her while she was growing up. So, I don't like to speculate, guys, but now, let's go take a ride by their house. Let me jump in here quick and say, too, that after seeing Summer's 
mom's uh, TikTok videos and her having uh, that very short hair too. Hey, maybe Summer wanted to be like her mom. Maybe it was easier. It's the summer. I'm sure it's hot where they live. So I will touch on all of that though in a part two. Sometimes I get so uh, frustrated when I go into Google Maps and I cannot get down to actually see the house from a street view. But this is where, and look at that terrain. And I did some measurements. She's about, where is Knoxville? Okay, so here's Knoxville. So when you measure distance from Knoxville to her address, it is about 80 miles. It seems to me like she is definitely on the North Carolina line. If you get into Asheville here, she's 61 miles in Asheville, North Carolina. And then Boone and Blowing Rock, this is a huge mountain range. I have actually been there skiing to Boone, Alpine, Blowing Rock. It is beautiful, but those mountains up there are definitely dense. So let's get back and go look at around her area. We can probably get down on the 347. Let's clear the distance. So they live out in the middle of nowhere and I am thinking that this is their house. I am going to speculate because I cannot get down there and see if it matches the house from the news crews because obviously Google does not, oh, oh, wait a second. Let me see where I am, one sec. Yeah, see, it takes you down on the state road, and they are actually over here to the right. Let's see if we can get on to Ben Hill Road, and we can. Nope, takes you back to the state highway. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any way to get down here for one second. Let's turn it over. Yeah, like you are never going to be able to see through these trees. It is so dense. I wonder who lives here in this little trail. Their property is here. I mean, I'm trying to see how it's on a hill. I know, guys. I'm just nosy. I think I'm going to change my channel to Wannabe P.I. Monkey Mar Investigates. So... Yeah, those Smoky Mountains are absolutely beautiful. I actually live at the end of the Appalachian Mountain Trail. But yeah, we are not going to be able to see the house. Take a look through the neighborhood. We can get down here. It's happen. They live here. I'm going to see if I can find that house on like a Zillow or Rent.com to see what the inside looks like. Yeah, look at this place. It's like kind of like Sanford and Sun. And that's where the trailer is. Well, the camper. The little fifth wheel. Hmm. What are those? Chickens? Something's in there. I don't know. I do not think this is... I do not think this little girl wandered off. Unfortunately, my gut feeling is telling me that there's something much more I don't know, guys. This might be like some wrong turn stuff. Let's go see what these little places look like. Okay. Okay, that's a neat little little neighborhood area. Clean yards. And then you got this little rat pack place. I'm so nosy. Let me get out of this. I just wanted to check out the terrain. And I know that they are saying that they do not want anyone to help them search because of the fact that the terrain is so thick and it's dangerous. I do not think they do not want people to search because of the fact that they don't want the extra help. They do not want the volunteer workers to get hurt. Okay, let's go to the last, but definitely not the least. And I am thinking this is probably not going to be the only video I do on Summer Wells. I am praying that for some miracle she is found and she did get lost in those woods. But then you have to ask... How come the canine dogs did not smell her? It's a big question. And it makes you go, hmm. So let me show you what I found on these three Don Wesley Wells. And it's definitely disturbing.
I am doing a part two to this video, so let me get through this. We have got three of Donald Wells. We have got the grandpa, a father, and a son. So this Donald Wells is 83 years old, and he lives out in Roy, Utah. Now I'm starting to see where she gets the middle name, well, one of her middle names, Utah. Then we get into... Donald Wesley Wells Jr., 56 years old. They actually have him living in Roy, Utah on Been Verified is why Been Verified to me is not legit on their addresses. But when it comes to the criminal past, they seem to have a lot in the case IDs that you can actually go off of and find the actual a case itself so he was born in 64 he's 56 and he is actually shown living at the same address as candace and this other donald wells this one donald wesley wells the third 34 years old born in 1986 rogersville tennessee this one is creepy this one has got a criminal past that is sexual and deviant and involves a children. So I actually went and I looked on the neighborhood watch to see if he was on the list of predators at 110 Ben Hill Road. And of course he wasn't. But these mugshots right here that I found, you cannot make up this guy is a creeper. But let's go now and look into their criminal past just a little. Let's go ahead and start with the middle one, the 56 year old. So it shows that they were definitely in areas at the same time. Possession of controlled CNFT substance without a prescription. Maybe it was somebody's prescribed, I don't know, hydrocodone, oxycodone, whatever it is. Oh look, a burglary residential. So he's a thief. Oh, theft. Yeah, he's a thief burglary again and some of these cases could actually be duplicated I'm just gonna scroll through and you guys can look at them as well a revoked suspension theft by receiving stolen property what a nice guy oh look at forgery all of the signs of being a what a drug addict notice to the date of birth 78403 battery burglary with intent theft oh same thing possession of marijuana up to two ounces yeah he's a thief and i want to hear what you guys think of these charges and what you guys think people do with stealing a theft a forgery being caught with drugs now they're and a lot of this was in utah too and then he's got one in florida because he did live down in florida but I'm gonna dig so deep. In. All right, let's get out of uh, this one's background. I am giving you guys an official trigger warning because this guy right here, who seems to be around summer, but let's go access the address real quick and let's just check and see if he is on the pedophile list. And nope. And what's even scarier is when you look at all of these people, in that area that we just saw on Google, that's a lot of people for that area. I mean, it is scary how many sexual predators there are out there. So that is the list by where Summer lives, and he is not on it. Donald Wesley Wells the third. Let's have a look at Donald Wells the third. A background probation uh, just like his daddy theft of property a breaking or entering probation revoke sexual solicitation of a child you cannot make this up guilty 2005 I'm gonna look into that case aggravated assault criminal mischief aggravated assault criminal mischief criminal mischief sexual indecency with a child notice the birthday wow 
breaking and entering. This is the type of guy that will break in your house and steal your child. Criminal mischief. I'm not going to read all the petty little sex crime or other. Ah, in Utah. Trespass. Yeah. Also, uh, Candace has a petty a little record, you know, stealing, forgery, things like that. And she also has a sister named Rose Marie Bly, who has been missing, I think, for 13 years. And she went missing from Wisconsin. There's some something going on with a few family issues, I would say. And now summer's gone. But a little girl, five years old, living in the woods of Tennessee... There is nothing wrong with them being barefoot and having dirty feet. It's what they do when they are kids. So stop people zooming in on pictures of her dirty little feet saying, Oh, she needs a bath. She's dirty. I, let's stop. Uh, guys, it's just some of you people are. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys, this video is way too long. So with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for uh, watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and a subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.